hello my blessed family how are you doing hope you are doing awesome so god wants me to share this wonderful message and testimony with you so just because someone likes you in high school does not mean it is god's approved spouse for you this guy in my high school very handsome i mean so he told me he said he was in love with me and my twin sister no child pick one hmm. he couldn't pick i won't lie i had feelings for him but it was not of god it was the spirit of lust god helped me to overcome the spirit of lust with his word of god so by meditating on the word of god the spirit of lust was broken and i said no to him can you imagine he's still stalking me on instagram oh god i blocked him years ago recently he created another account added me again and i blocked him again the devil is really using him see when you are a child of purpose avoid distraction be focused block who god says you should block god will bring his godly spouse for you at his right time so what is god telling you right now as for me god is telling me focus on his purpose in my life share my testimonies and at his right time i will get married to his spouse for me what is god telling you do what god is telling you there is purpose time there is marriage time there is purpose and marriage time for me god is telling me it is purpose time not marriage time when it's time for marriage he will let me know so timing is everything we are not random we are called stay away from anyone wasting your time there is time to love there is time for purpose there is time for love and marriage god will let you know right now focus on what god is telling you to focus on if it's marriage then focus on it if it's love marriage and purpose focus on it if it's only purpose focus on it god is a god of time flow with god's timing align yourself with god avoid distractions avoid loss there's an evil spirit behind it and if you don't kill that evil spirit that evil spirit will kill you and the only way to kill that evil spirit is with the holy spirit so get closer to the holy spirit and he will help you in jesus name amen also ladies when you are attracted to a guy when you shouldn't like when you're attracted to a guy in an ungodly way in church or anywhere you know it is not god's man for you avoid hugging him avoid body contact just wait from afar stay away from him until you overcome the lust or wrong feeling you have for them unless you start having dreams of him that you shouldn't have lust can mess up your head hmm. same with guys stay away from her avoid hugging her lust can mess up your head you can't think clearly you can't focus on god clearly you can't hear god's voice clearly all you think about is him or her hmm. that's exactly what the devil wants so anytime like anything that will make you not to think of god and follow god's purpose avoid it stay away from it your relationship with God is at risk. Your purpose with God is at risk. You don't want to be at risk. God is our everything. End result of loss is death. Hmm. Think about it. Loss leads to watching porn, leads to masturbation, leads to sex toys, leads to homosexual stuff. It gets worse and worse. The end result is death. Even the Bible said it. Like, when we live by flesh, is death. When we live by the spirit, is life. So, stay focused on God. Whoever is not making you to stay focused, whoever is making you to have lustful feelings, stay away, block them, delete them with the help of God. The devil is after our focus on God. The devil is trying to distract us so that we don't accomplish God's purpose so we don't have a relationship with God 
Like in my early walk with God, the devil will send all sorts of lustful guys to me. As soon as I see them, I start meditating on the Bible verses. Like Google it, Bible verses to overcome lust. Then I'll start meditating on them. The Bible is sharper than two-edged sword. So immediately I meditate on them. Immediately I stop feeling lost for them. I have the ability to stay away. My spirit becomes stronger than my flesh. There is power in the word of God. Just speak it in your mind. The spirit of lust will leave you. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. I remove that lustful feeling. Like when I realize how powerful meditating on verses that help me to stay away from lust are, I started meditating first thing in the morning because... Like, I started meditating first thing in the morning, especially when I'm going to church. Hmm. Like, because there are so many handsome guys at my church. So, I meditate to remove the lustful feelings I have for them. They, on the other hand, are trying to get, me, to get closer to me in a lustful way. But God has given me the ability to say no to them. That's not right. So, God helped me to keep my distance from them. I passed the test with God. Yes, it's a test. God helped me to overcome the spirit of lust. And he can help you too. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God.